hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to create this design right here where we have animation for the text so if i reload this page here we can see we have this animation for this text content so here for the heading we have animation for each of the characters and for this paragraph we have animation for each of the words so let me just refresh it once more So in this video, I'll show you how to create this animation using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we are also going to use two libraries for this. One for splitting each of these characters and one for the animation. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called text animate and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's create a new file. And let's name it index.html and we'll also create a CSS file, let's name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file, let's name it main.js Well, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code Right now let's link our CSS file over here, so let's type link and press tab and in the HTML file just type style.css and in the body let's link our JavaScript file, so let's type script colon src and press tab and here I'll just type main.js now for this design, we're going to use a font called Rubik. So let's get the link of the font. All right, so here I'm in Google Fonts and uh, let's search for the Rubik font. And let's select this font. And we need to get two versions from here. We need to get the regular version. So let's select this regular 400. And we also need to select a bold version. So let's scroll down and uh, let's select extra bold 800. And let's click on this button called View Selected Families. And uh, let's copy this link from here and uh, let's add it into our HTML. I'll just add it over here in the head section. Right now for all the content, let's create a container division and let's give it a class of text container. And in that we will have an H2 for the heading and uh, let's just type hello everyone. And then we need to have a paragraph and let's just copy this text from here and let's paste it over here. Right, that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's style it using CSS. So let's go to our style.css file. And first of all, let's select the text container division. And let's set the font family to Rubik and sans serif. And let's set the text align to center. And we'll set the background color to 032B43. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our content is being displayed. So we have the heading and we have this paragraph. So let's go back and let's add a width of, let's try 900 pixels. And let's set the margin to 100 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right. Right now let's style this H2. So let's type text container h2 and uh, let's set the font size to 80 pixels and let's set the background color to d00000 and let's set the color of the text to white and let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll just reset the margin of this heading so let's type margin 0 right now let's style the paragraph so let's go back and let's type text container p and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and let's set the color of the text to white and uh, let's also set the margin to 0 and we'll also add a padding of 16 pixels alright so that's basically it with the design now let's start adding the animation and before that we will add a library to separate all these characters inside our words so for that we're going to use a library called split type so just google for split type and you'll find this website so let's go into the website and let's scroll down and uh, let's find the cdn so here we can see this is the cdn of split type so let's copy this and let's go back and paste it in our html so here before the script tag i'll just paste the link and let's also get the link of the gsap library which we're going to use for the animation so just google for gsap cdn and you'll find this link so let's go into this website so let's scroll down and let's get this link so I'll just click on this copy script tag button 
and let's go back and paste it in our HTML. I'll just paste it below the split type library. Right now what we need to do is we need to separate each of these characters so that we can animate them separately. So for that we're going to use this split type library. So let's go to our main.js file and let's type const and let's create a const called heading and let's set it equal to new split type. And here we need to add the selector for the heading. So it is inside this text container division. So let's type dot text container h2. Right now let's go back to our website. And if I just right click over here and click on inspect. Here we can see that the h2 is divided into lines and words and characters. So here we can see we have this heading in just one line. So we have one division with the class of line. And then we have two words over here. So we can see we have this division with the class of word. And down here we have another division with the class of word. And the first word we have these characters. So for each of the characters we have different divisions with the class name of char. And even in this word we have all these characters. So this is all done by the split type library. Now if you go to the split type website and if you scroll down, here we can see there's an option called types option. And in that we can add words, characters or whatever we want. So in our case for the heading we need to have just characters. So we can just add this types option and set it to cares. So here we don't need to have the line and the word for the heading. So let's go back and here let's add an option. Let's type types and let's set it equal to cars. And now if we go back to our website, let's open the heading and inside the heading we can see we have all these characters. Right now let's split this paragraph. Now for the paragraph we can split it in words because if we go back to our original design and if I refresh this page, Here we can see for the paragraph each of the words are animated separately. So let's go back to our code and let's type const paragraph and let's set it equal to new split type and let's type text container p and let's add an option. So let's type types and we'll set it equal to words. Now if we go back to our website, let's open the paragraph. And here we can see for the paragraph, each of these words are in different divisions. Right now, the last thing we need to do is animate all of this. So let's go back to our JavaScript and we're going to use GSAP for the animation. So first of all, let's create a timeline. So let's type const TL equals GSAP dot timeline. Now, the first thing we need to animate is the height of this heading. So if we go back to our original design, first of all, the height of the heading is set to zero. So if I reload this, we can see that the height was set to zero and the same goes with the paragraph. So let's go back to our CSS and by default, let's set the height to zero and we'll also set the overflow to hidden so that anything outside this element will not be seen. So if we go back to our design, here we can see just the paragraph is being displayed. Now we have to do the same for the paragraph as well. So let's go back and here let's type height and let's set it to zero. Now for the paragraph, the height is not being set to zero. That's because we have added this padding. So let's set the padding to zero by default. And when we animate it, we will set the padding back to 16. And here also we'll set the overflow to hidden. All right, now let's go to our main.js file and let's tap TL.2. And here we need to add the end state of the animation. So first of all, you need to add the selector. So let's tap text container H2. And here we need to add the animation inside curly braces. So let's set the height to auto. And we'll also start the animation a little late. So here after this curly braces, let's add a delay. So let's type plus equals and we can add the number of seconds over here. So I'll just type 0 0.5. And now if we go back to our website and if I reload this page, we can see that the animation is working all right. Now the next thing we will do is animate all of these characters inside the heading. So for each of the characters inside the heading, we have divisions with a class of char. So let's go back and let's go to the style.css file and let's access the characters. So let's tap text container h2 char and by default we will set the rotation y to 90 degrees. So let's tap transform rotate y 90 degrees. 
and we'll also set the opacity to zero by default. And let's go back to our main.js file and uh, let's type dot two and let's add the selector. Let's type text container h2 char and here let's add the properties. So first of all, let's set the rotation to zero and uh, let's set the opacity to one. And now let's go back to our website and we can see that the animation is working, but we need to have a little bit of delay for each of the characters. So let's go back and we need to add a property called stagger and we need to add a value over here. So I'll just type 0 0.1 and now let's go back and we can see that the animation for each of the characters are working all right. Right now let's add the animation for the height of the paragraph. So let's go back and here let's type dot two and here I'll just type text container p and uh, we need to set the height to auto. So let's type height auto and we also need to set the padding. So here we can see we had set the padding to zero. So let's type padding and let's set it to 16. Right now let's go back to our website and we can see that the animations are working all right. Now the last things we need to animate are these words inside the paragraph. So let's go back and for the words we have divisions with a class of word. So if you go back to the inspector here we can see for each of the word we have divisions with the class of word. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS. And here let's type text container P word. And we will move it down a little bit. So let's type transform translate Y and let's set it to 100 pixels. And let's set the opacity to zero by default. And now let's go to our main.js file. And uh, here let's type dot two. And let's type text container P word. And here we need to set the y back to zero and we need to set the opacity to one and we'll also add an ease. So let's set it to expo dot ease out. Now there are a lot of easings inside GSAP. So you can just search for GSAP easing and you'll find all those options. I'm going to use expo dot ease out and we'll also add some stagger so that we have some delay between the animation of each of the words. So let's type 0.1 and now let's go back to our website. Now the last thing we will do is we will animate these words a little earlier. So let's go back and here let's add a delay. So let's type minus equals zero point. Let's try four and now let's go back to our website. And we can see everything is working all right. So that's basically how you can animate text using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and the two libraries split type and GSAP. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.